This is one of my favorite games as a child. I still have it on my actual Game Boy, and that's literally where my first speed run of was. It was literally on the Game Boy. Or the Game Boy Advance, I should say. With a light hanging from the top of my monitor, which I can't even do anymore because I have a thinner bezeled monitor. And the webcam mic. Because I was dumb enough to not put a Yeti in front of me or something. I'm gonna go wide for this boost. I'm not a completely appalled due to the circumstances of the 29.42. That boost is definitely useful. That jump is surprisingly harder on easy though. Well, surprising, not surprising. I shouldn't have gone wide. I should have just gone straight with the boost. It would have been more effective, to be honest. But hey, strap making at its finest. We'll just prove it here on lap three. You know what? I'm okay with that minor thing of time. Uh oh. Yeah, see, that lap was way faster. Even with that, like, micro bounce from the ramp. Not even micro bounce, just regular bounce. I'm literally just doing a lot of, like, stop turns. Is that good? Probably not, but... <sighs> yes. I'm gonna use that literally. I'm so glad I have this, because that crushy crush is bad. That probably saved me time, despite me falling in the water. I'd hate that I have a run that relies on an RNG weapon to save me time, but, you know. I was still able to save 3.8 seconds despite my lap 2 being awful. But hey, have one lap awful instead of all of them, am I right guys? Yeah. I don't even think I got the startup boost on one of the races. That's a testament to anything. Oh, that's some time loss right there. Like that wall bounces I did earlier. But I did kind of screw up some, like, of these turns here, so I can still save time. Yeah, that lap one was kind of awful. Because of previous bumps. Okay, that retrievable is kind of rough as well, but it's not too much bad news. And the reason I, like, on some of them, you'll notice that there's like orange bells and stuff that I could go for to maybe pull more power items, because we could stand power items on big straightaways on easy, but... The reason that I'm not doing that is only because of saving time with the boost. Like, I could risk getting... 
I just missed the boost entirely. But, like, I could risk going ahead and getting the bell, but then I pull something useless and it's just like, well, I just lost, like, half a second or something. Duly just to, because I wanted to go for RNG. It's like risk reward kind of. Oh, that was a bad magma castle considering it put me on the same exact pace that I'm already that I was already on. But hey, I'll take this run as long as it goes well the last race because the audio is literally just me in the game. No Discord chatter. And it's feeling more of a satisfying run from the get go. And if I just save. And if I just save a boost bell for the other two lapses turns. Lapses. I've made a huge lapse in judgment. I'll take a low 49 off of the one mistake. But I took that turn pretty well otherwise. It's kind of weird looking at like the fact that like the textures are just kind of changing and that's how I'm moving forward. Like the wall textures. Like when I'm looking only at the wall, it doesn't really seem very, what is it? It doesn't seem like I'm moving all that much, just the walls. Yeah, I see why I got a point thirty-nine. I had a slow turn because I actually tried to slingshot it. Slingshotting isn't always the fastest thing to do, especially when it's not off of a boost, but just raw stopping and going. But anyway, like slingshotting off the boost is much faster because you're already going practically full speed and you can let go of A to control yourself and not lose time. Yeah, there we go. That, that was a much better cyber field. And a much better ice paradise. The only thing that kind of was screwy was the magma castle, but... Yeah, Skybridge wasn't terrible. It could have been better, but also could have been quite worse. And magma castle... Magma castle, we already... I talked about it so many times this video. But yeah. There's another run for the books. I think it took me a total of... Hold on, let me see when I got my first file. It probably took me about two hours of speedrunning to get all of this, maybe a little less. But hey, if I can complete three categories in like two hours, that shows that there is someone who can just practice one and just kill the time. And I can't wait. Thank you for watching. And, I guess, speed on? I don't know. I'm bad at outros.